everybody. Hi, Hi, Dr. Dr. Nick. Welcome back to baseball. We're going to continue our top 10 worst PR disasters from the Wilpon era. This time, we're going to talk about the misdiagnosis or the Mets diagnosis of their injured players. Yes, number five is the mishandling of all the injuries. There's been so many injuries over the Wilpons tenure at the Mets, and there's just so much to break down here. Let's get right into it with the first one. We're going to go with the best ones, and here's Ryan Church. Let's talk about Ryan Church. Ryan Church actually had a concussion earlier in the year in spring training, had another concussion later on, only to then have to fly to Colorado of all places. Colorado. Now, Ryan, where would you take a guy that has a concussion? Clearly to the highest altitude in North America. Oh, clearly. It just makes sense. Clearly. He's not even going to play, and you decide to put him on the plane and send him to Colorado when he's already high in the sky with his concussion. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't. You know what else doesn't make sense? Changing Jose Reyes' running style. They decide to change his running style because he had a few injuries early in his career, and they go, Oh, that must be the reason. It's the way you've been running your whole life. Why don't you not do that anymore? <laughs> this is someone who's been doing something his whole life at a professional level, and they changed his running style, only to change it back later. So all they did was potentially ruin his career. Thank God they did not. But we got to talk about a pitcher, though. What about Johan Santana? Great career overall. Comes to the Mets, has a few good seasons. But what happened, Ryan? He decides that he's going to pitch a no-hitter. <laughs> He goes out there and just dominates for 130 pitches. Terry Collins was so torn up about whether or not to take him out or not. He decides to leave him in. Says you don't risk a guy's entire career for one game. But he did it anyway. And Johan was never the same again. Never the same. So what happens when he's recovering? He's uh, recovering at one of their practice fields. And he decides to prove to everybody that he's healthy by throwing a surprise bullpen session. Surprise, surprise. surprise. In your eyes. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Terry Collins is sitting there in his office. He's taking some notes. And all of a sudden he hears the pops of the mitt. Huh? What's going on out there? Perry couldn't believe it. I'm sure he yelled at him, too. He was probably really mad about that. Again, miscommunication here. Miscommunication so much. But you know what else is miscommunicated? J.J. Putz. Oh, J.J. Putz. The Putz. So listen, Putz is more like it. He pitched horrible. He pitched like a Putz. And it turns out that he was hurt the whole time. We were sitting there as fans blaming him for pitching terribly. But the Mets just went out and signed a, a big, pretty big deal here for a bullpen guy. And it turns out there was an injury that they, that they didn't know about. Well, they never gave him a physical, apparently, so that might start with it. Yeah. You don't give the guy a physical. You find out two months later he's got a bone spur in his elbow, and he never was good that whole season. You just no. never pitched like the guy you were expecting to sign, and he was vocal about it afterwards, and he obviously did not like his time with the Mets, and he let everyone know about it. Well, we got to talk about Thor. Yeah. I mean, Thor, here's a guy who is a superhero, right? You thought superheroes can't get hurt. Wrong. Wrong. They can get hurt. This guy thought he, he was unstoppable. The medical staff, and we know how stupid they are, told him, you know, listen, you probably shouldn't pitch today. We need you to go take an MRI. He goes and pitches anyway. We're all cheering for him, too, because as stupid fans that we are, we're like, yeah, Thor, you tell him. He goes out there and hurts himself. What happened exactly there? Well, he said he knows his body better than anybody else, but it turns out that he probably should have actually listened to the doctors on this one. I know I said I didn't blame him for not listening to them because they're, they're always misdiagnosing guys mm -hmm. and leading to longer and longer injury times, but... Turns out he probably should have listened to him on this one. Ended up being out for essentially the rest of that season. Missed almost an entire year because of it. Right. You know who else was vocal? You know, Scott Boris about Harvey. Let's not let's not forget about Harvey. Now, Scott Boris went out there and was like, listen, this guy has to have an innings limit, right? An innings limit. We didn't listen to that. We didn't heed to the vice. Went out there. He pitched the most innings that he's ever pitched. And... Coming off of surgery? Yeah, coming off of Tommy John surgery. He pitched more innings than everyone, anyone ever has. Recovering from that, and it really showed because he was never really the same after that. He had a good year that year, and everyone wanted him to pitch. The fans wanted him to pitch. The media was basically saying he should pitch. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot of pressure on him. Is it our fault? No. I don't know. I don't know. But I, one thing I do know is that it's a PR disaster. It's definitely a PR disaster. I'm telling you why. Because, you know, it should never have even been in the press like that. But it turned out to make it a, a thing where all the fans then said, come on, Harvey, you got to pitch it all. And he took that pressure and he did it. I was there in game five when they left him out there too long. And look, we wanted him out there anyway. And that wasn't what just caused it. It was everything else. Let's talk about the mental health. Here's a guy who, who ended up having, a, you know, a partying problem, an alcohol problem. Let's just call for what it is. Terry wasn't happy about that, but how do we handle it? Terribly. Yeah, they didn't handle it well at all. Of course, it gets out to the media. Oh, Harvey is out doing this. He's getting punished for that. And these stories always are coming out. And they just can't keep anything under wraps. They couldn't keep Harvey under control. And it's just a downward spiral of a guy who just got too much too quick. 
Right, and we didn't forget about Cespedes, our, our friend Cespedes. We'll, he's he's such a, a special person in himself that we have to actually cover him in his own segment. Number four is going to be Cespedes, and the injuries, though. Hey, look, this is a guy that we we know very well to not we not handle his injuries whatsoever. No, we didn't handle his injuries well. We didn't handle anything well when it came to him. The saga of Cespedes is definitely going to be our next video in this countdown, and this saga will continue. So number four is going to be Cespedes, and hey, look, stick around for that. But for Steve and Ryan. Baseballed out. Baseballed out. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.